Hello, 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 good people. Sending blessings your way. Hope everything is going well in your life and your loved ones and your dreams coming true. All right. Today, I'm coming with a short, simple video. Um, I got some short ribs here. I wanted to do them Korean barbecue style, but I couldn't find the Asian pears. And plus, I didn't feel like waiting. You know what I'm saying? I was going to do them on a regular barbecue grill, but hey, I, I can't wait. So these are the ingredients. I, I did a little marinade, like a little simple marinade. All right. I had three tablespoons of olive oil, a tablespoon and a half of apple cider vinegar. Um, I got smoked sea salt so I could get some of that, you know, barbecue flavor. I got some Brazilian steakhouse seasoning and black pepper. Oh, I did about, I don't know, two tape, two teaspoons of this, um, a tablespoon and a half, maybe two tablespoons of this, and like a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half of that. To a, I think it's like a pound, pound and a half of the Korean short ribs. Make sure. You rinse your short ribs before you season them in cold water. And, um, you know, to get all the bone fragments and everything off. All right, right here is the marinade. I marinated this for about 45 minutes in the um, fridge with all the ingredients, as I just said. I just noted. And we're going to stir these up. Right here, I have a fiery, fiery hot. George Foreman Grill. Everybody know what that is. And over here, I have a smokeless Korean barbecue grill, stovetop grill. And I'll show you how these things work in a couple of seconds. Let this heat up. All right, let's see if this thing hot enough. Yeah, I got a little water. See if he hot enough. Splash a little water on there. So, don't go across here. It goes like that. I don't want it too much overcrowded. So I put two. I, I probably can fit three on here. Maybe. Let me find a skin. Skinny Benny. Nah, forget it. All right, we're going to slam this down. See what it do. Over here. Same thing. They said smokeless, but I'm seeing smoke. But with this one, you get more of that natural gas flavor on there with the Korean um, stovetop grill. And this, you know, George, George Foreman grill is the George Foreman grill. So I'm thinking about maybe four or five minutes on each side and these things will be done. Cause you know, the George Foreman grill take quick. Whoa! Get back over there. Oh, and usually I like, when I'm using this, I throw a little oil on there. I throw a, a vegetable or two on there. You know, just, just cause. And my only problem with these grills, I can't achieve that sear like from from that charcoal, you know, that, that flame, like boom. But you get a decent sear out of these. And you could, I, I could have just threw it in the cast iron um, that's got the ridges like this one. And this one, you can't really get the sear because, you know, these are not that thick of a cut. But it's a little sear on there. Hold on, hold on, look at here. A sear and some flames coming through. So hey, 
I turned the fire up, getting a nice little, a better sear. I don't know what this metal is made out of. It's not cast iron. Yeah, I'm getting a nice sear right there, yeah. So hey, learn something new every day. I turned the fire up. Smokeless my ass. <laughs> yeah, it got a little smoky in here. But these the last of the Mohicans. And then I will plate up some. Over here, I stacked them on top of each other on the George Foreman grill. And they having a nice sear party they sell. So here we go. Side by side. George Foreman. And the smokeless grill. It has a better sear, a little char on it. And you know how the George Foreman gonna be. I would recommend charcoal. Or, you know, maybe a gas grill outdoors. There's nothing like the charcoal flavor. Though, that's my favorite. But, in all in all, it was a success, I think. Korean style short ribs, but not LA golf. Peace. Thank you for watching. Keep cooking. Making it, make it your own.